Hey there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of I Fiddle with the Camera and Hope It Doesn't Look Too Terrible. No, that's not 100% true, although it seems like we do do that a lot on this channel. Uh, making a couple changes today. At least we're going to try something a little different. Uh, number one, we're doing the GoPro again, which I've got in 60 frames a second, so we're going to see how that goes. Hopefully the battery doesn't die. Second, last time we tried to use the GoPro, we learned a couple of things. One, clean the lens. It was filthy. It did not look good. Everything looked hazy. Uh, two, turn off low light compensation. That helps too. Three, the microphone in the GoPro is terrible. I know it's an action cam, but it's also supposed to be a relatively good little camcorder, you know, for a 4K, but it wasn't. So you may notice the audio this time sounds a little bit better. You know why that is? Because we have a proper microphone. Look. Nice little lapel mic. Yes, not bad for $10 or so. I'll get that clipped on my shirt and hopefully it stays. But we'll just make this a quick impromptu video about a couple little things here that we've got. Uh, first off, um, I learned something interesting. I bought this little battery pack. It's just a 12 volt battery pack um, used for like security cameras and such. And just for fun, I cracked it open. A couple things I learned. One, not very good screw holes. Literally, they're under these little rubber pads here. Tried to crack it open. Broke two of them, even trying to get into the case and unscrew them, so that was no good. And second, the crazy thing is, I thought this would be like a 3.7 volt uh, lithium with a, a boost converter or a butt converter or something in the case, because, you know, it's kind of big. It's not. It's three 3.7 volt stacks going like this, all wired together, and then just to the output. And the scary thing about that is, this is just straight up 12 volts. It's just dumping 12 volts, as far as I can tell, right into the battery packs. I think there's protection circuitry on them, but I'm honestly not 100% sure about that. But it hasn't exploded yet. But you know what? We're not going to leave that uh, plugged in unattended, just, just in case. But what I really wanted to talk about today was uh, something I got in the mail from a Kickstarter the other day. And uh, let me unplug this, I'll take the case off this so you can get a little better look at it. Everyone's familiar that I like the Raspberry Pis and I have some Arduino projects as well. But this was a Kickstarter for something called a chip. Um, total price on this little guy was $9, including the bottom shield here and the adapter for the video. And this is a... Uh, about equivalent to an original Raspberry, but it's a little faster. Um, it's a full system on a chip. It's got four gigs of storage built in, uh, 512 megs of RAM, if I remember correctly, and a one gigahertz. I want to say it is a quad core ARM based chip. It also has Bluetooth and Wi Fi on board, which is pretty astonishing for something this size, and I think that's pretty neat. It also has the ability to use lithium ion battery packs, standard connector here, and the onboard power management chip also has the ability to charge those packs. Single USB 2.0 port. It's got uh, AV out, so composite video and audio. USB power in. And then all these up here are actually uh, the exact same headers as uh, Raspberry Pi, and I believe it's also got a few more, so it's uh, closer to Arduino compatible. And I thought this was awfully neat for $9. I, I got a couple of them. Um, haven't decided exactly what to do with them yet, but they're, they're pretty neat. Let me show you really quick this actually booting up. I'm going to try this with a little tiny composite monitor. That's why I have the 12 volts. Come on. This doesn't want to stay stable, does it? There we go. Okay. So we're going to do composite video, which is into there. We need to power the monitor. So we're just going to grab that scary 12 volts, power the monitor, and finally we need a power source for it. So let's grab our USB pack here, and the other end of it, wherever it has wandered off to. That's 12 volts. Uh, sorry guys, I've lost. Ah, there it is. All right, and let's see if we can boot this up. And it's, it's actually pretty spiffy. I mean, you're not going to get good resolution. This is a little composite monitor, but it ought to work. All right, turn on the power pack. 
Come on. There we go. And we should, in theory, get this little monitor to come on. I hope. I have that in all the way. Oh, except, hold on, our whole bolt slipped off there. There we go. I have to admit, this is not a bad little monitor for, uh, gosh, was it 10 bucks? No, not even that, five bucks, I think. Uh, it's obviously just composite and it's, it's mono, but it's okay, you know? Uh, and I don't have any input devices connected to this, so we can't do a whole heck of a lot with it, but um, it's pretty remarkable what it is. It actually even runs X Windows, no problem. And they're pretty cool. Um, they're a little hard to get right now because it's still, I believe, a Kickstarter project. So a lot of this stuff is not uh, general sale. I think it's still going to be like a pre-order. But um, these are very promising. Uh, the OS is not 100% perfect. It's Debian-based, so it's very similar to Raspbian, but it's not identical. And the GPI...